Hello healers! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have a little bit of a different video for you and it's how to make your own oracle or tarot deck using postcards. And this video is totally inspired by Lady Knight of Avalon. She has a YouTube uh, channel as well and I'll link below her original video because she has many different decks uh, or I mean post cards. You can see here it's a postcard and this one is not super shiny and it's easy to write on. And my one I specifically chose a love one. This comes with uh, 50 postcards and none of the pictures as you can see here are the same. So they're each one individually and uh, this is a great idea. In this case I really wanted the love one but you can see all kinds of uh, uh, these decks, I mean these postcard boxes out there because you have uh, from travels, nature, animals, you can choose a specific theme and I chose love and so my idea is to just separate them here into the ones that I feel like it could be more uh, shadow side or light side and some that are more neutral and uh, you can see here that's what I'm gonna be doing and just separating them into light, shadow, neutral or whatever and then I will be um, writing on them, like uh, free writing the things that I want and you'll see me modify them a little bit. But it's not uh, uh, very hard at all. This is uh, postcards that uh, are sold in Amazon. So I'll leave her link below and I'll leave the Amazon link below where I found those specific ones because some of them are really shiny and it's harder to write. But this one is not super shiny. It's a different kind of material and it was perfect because it could easily write here even with a normal pen good right here even though I chose a shiny one and uh, you will see at the end how I did and I see I'm just separating them here but it's very easy to find it this was less than uh, 10 pounds for me on the Amazon UK so for me in euros okay so around 10 euros 10 dollars you know around that price is not super expensive and uh, it's just something to spend your time with and of course you know if you are at home Amazon is still delivering you know right now depending whenever you're watching this you know what happened around February March of 2020 so we stuck at home but Amazon is still delivering but even though this is something I really wanted to do for a while and she uploaded her video in February and I always wanted that I finally had time now to do it so I separated them here in, in three piles and and then when I'm writing I will be choosing again because obviously will take uh, some time to decide which which words will go there and I made a list uh, on my computer of the things that I wanted to write there okay I, I had 50 words and I was kind of changing while I, I was doing that as well you can see here and I saw this just in three piles there so it was more light shadow and neutral and after this what I did was just to choose the pens that I wanted to use because they have different colors and some backgrounds are darker and some are lighter so I couldn't write with all the same pens. I did choose the gel uh, color pens there that uh, have glitter as well but it doesn't show too, too much so I chose the black one for the uh, bright uh, backgrounds and the red one as well and also I had to, I chose a blue one here but at the end I had to take a gray one as well because some backgrounds were black or very dark and the silver one was the best one to write. So that's what I had here and then I started writing from my list that I had created the list actually even before I had the, the postcards because I was creating that and I did that very uh, quickly as well. It was just uh, one day I stopped to write them and I wrote everything that I wanted because I do lives with uh, mainly not read these bigger cards that uh, there are many love uh, questions so I wanted to make sure I created the love one first I do plan to create other ones but I had many words and um, ideas that I wanted to have in, all in one deck because obviously you don't always answer the ones that you wanted to answer with every single deck so I wanted one that had the words that for me was missing when I was doing my figure card readings and some that are repeated but you know, the ones that I wanted anyway. So I started writing here and that's all I did. And I don't write with the best writing at all. It was actually very small at the end, but it was just for me to go through the motion of finding the words that I wanted with the deck, you know, all together in one deck that I wanted. And I was really happy with the results here. And as you can see, I didn't do all in one day, okay? I did take some time and I did this parts of this with my daughter as well helping me my nine years old daughter and uh, so it's just a fun thing to do while we are at home now and I uh, was just taking my time to writing all of them so there are 50 
postcards here. So I could have uh, cut some of them as well. As you can, you will see if you wanted to watch Late the Nights of Avalon video. She cuts some of her ones. She makes it smaller and it's really a good project as well. I think that I want to do that on the next one because this is quite uh, big. And you can see here I started to write and not all of the the pens are easier because it's a gel pen but uh, you know it's not the, the best writing either okay you can see it's just uh, some uh, basic writing here I one thing that I wish I would have done is write maybe even bigger okay but it's not a big deal it's in this one that is a bright background was easy but the ones with the dark background you can see much I had to use the silver one but this is just an idea. I had to put them all separate and drying and make sure you leave them dry for a while, especially if you are using this kind of gel pen as well like me. Just make sure. So I was just putting them one next to the other, next to the other, organizing them, leaving them dry and I left them for a while. I left them for a good uh, half an hour. No, I just didn't touch them and I went away to do something else. And I think I came back later to do the rest. But it will... I won't bore you and write uh, and keep writing on each of them here, but you'll see the result here. Yes, you see there, I'm just showing that they are drying in, the, I think this is after drying, and uh, if you see I just put them one right next to the other. Some I wrote on the top, some I wrote at the end. You'll do whatever you want, it's, it's your deck, you know? So it's a chance to do however you want. You can see like my writing is not the best either. So it's finally dry here, and I'm just taking them up. One thing that I got together with the this delivery was the corner cutter, which is was really good because I do wanted to modify some decks and uh, without that I couldn't really, and that was the main thing I wanted. You could easily do this in one day, but as you can see here, I just wanted to take my time. And uh, this is the chance here for you to, to see what you have, and uh, you can see that I use uh, the words that was already on the card as well, like the love, self-love, and that kind of thing. So if there was a uh, word already there I try to incorporate sometimes sometimes not you know because there was loads of love here so that's what I did but this is uh, at the end and what I did here now was starting to cut the corners and this is the corner cutter that I, I got it and I wanted to get this one with the three sides because I know I'm going to modify other decks and for this one I chose the largest one and you can see here straight away I do it wrong and you can see how easily I can um, uh, fix okay you can you have to push all the way in and I didn't on the first corner you can see there the one corner is actually a little bit bad but I can just easily put it again push all the way in and it was fixed you can see there there was no problem at all and I wanted a large one for this because obviously it's a big postcard so it was good for the large one and then uh, this is the other one I had done before that and I'll just uh, keep going here with uh, cutting the corners but uh, you can see there, this one has three sides and it's very good because you can easily modify other ones or even if you want to, this one with the smaller uh, corners, you know. I wanted this one with a large one because it's a, it's a big enough uh, card, you know. It's much bigger than a normal, um, like, uh, oracle cards or even the tarot cards. It's, it's much bigger and I wanted this one to be this full size because the pictures were really nice, I didn't want to cut them. But definitely I will get another one that I will end up cutting maybe half or nearly half to make more of kind of a tarot size. Depending on the picture you get, you could easily cut them in half and maybe get double the size, you know, and get uh, many more cards for you to create different decks. You know, but depends because obviously you can see there in this case, some cards I really couldn't cut. Maybe not in the middle, but you could cut in the, in the sides and make it a little bit smaller. But in this case, I wanted to leave the first one as is, and I'll definitely modify another one. You can see there that in this case there, um, the word was love, and I just create I and you, so it was the full phrase, I love you. And just to give you some idea, you know, I used the words, some of them had words, so I used the words that were there already. You know, you can see this one is forever, so I put everlasting love, that kind of thing. You know, depending on the deck you're going to create. And this is finally the last one, and you see there, okay? Final result, and you see there, and um, finally with all the corners cut, and it was really, really good. You will see, I forgot one <laughs> for some reason, and uh, I'll go back, and uh, you can see they all go really well together, and uh, it was perfect, the size. So that's why I didn't want to cut straight away, because I wanted them fine, and the corners was 
just perfect. I will edge this eventually. I didn't at this point, but uh, I think I will. I could put uh, some nice colors there. But I like that because the back is white, so I left it. So this is what you see here, guys. The final result for me at this point. And uh, like I say, it's not a great writing, but that's what I have. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope you try. And I'll leave all the links below as well. And um, like always, uh, let me know if you like this video. And I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.